I'm James Jones, second year receiver, Green Bay Packers. My teammates call me Dingo. So it's 9.23 right now. Talk to James. James Jones, AKA Dingo. And uh, he's supposed to pick me up at 9.30, but the, the question of the morning is, is he gonna show up on time? This is Body, you know what I'm saying? We're in the lobby waiting on you. 9.30, huh? 9.41, all right, man. Hey, get at me, we're ready, ready uh, to hit, hit this, get on the grind. I mean, in the meeting rooms, we'll have a meeting, probably like eight o'clock, he'll show up at 8.03, 8.04. He's always on slow motion. That's what coach always calls him, on slow motion. Even Brett gives him a hard time about being slow motion. So you see it's 10-11, and James is right outside. Now it's time to get on the grind. All right, we just picked up Chester Coleman, one of my uh, college teammates. Uh, he played receiver. Right now we're on our way to uh, San Jose State's facilities to uh, work out uh, the strength and conditioning coach is uh, coach holder at San Jose State. So we're on our way over there to work out. Uh, we'll probably work out for about an hour and a half, maybe two. We're trying to figure out Gene's watch. How to get the, get the stopwatch. Stopwatch going. He's taking three football players, dog. <laughs> uh, Y'all got that, dog. I thought you were smart. There you go. Okay. There you go. Yeah, see, there it is. Hang on in. There, now just press it. Yeah, yeah see, yeah, I yeah, told yeah, 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 I did that. Yeah, I did that. I said hold the button down. Yeah, 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 can I start it? No, we got three more seconds. <laughs> Two. Stop. Oh. This is deadlift. Deadlift is for what? The back and the, for the hamstring, hamstring and the back the probably a little bit? Back. Yeah. Hamstrings and back. I think college you worked a lot harder than you do in the NFL weightlifting wise. I mean a lot of a lot of people don't prepare themselves weightlifting wise in the NFL. I think a lot of it's a lot of the speed work and stuff like that for the off season. So, you know, when you do both, I think you have a, you know, a little bit of an advantage, you know, going into the season. But, you know, when you get into the season in the NFL, you know, it's a lot of just maintaining your body, not too much heavy weights. Go, Dingo. It's only three college teams that have kettlebells, and I don't know any NFL teams that have kettlebells. They do. But one NFL team that. I know that has kettlebells and you know they work really well in explosion and a lot of those type things. Endurance as well. <laughs> oh, them is heavy. Yeah. My tattoo is a gorilla <laughs> with weights in his mouth, holding the football. And it says man up. And it's just how I basically live my daily life. I just tell myself to man up. Man up through everything, you know. Life ain't always gonna be good. It ain't always gonna be how you go. Football ain't always gonna be good. You gonna drop balls. You gonna fumble. You gonna you gonna get hit hard. And, you know, you just gotta get up and man up every day. And my coach always told me, he said, if you gonna be any type of monkey, be a gorilla. You know what I mean? So that's how I got a gorilla tattoo. Stuff's working out. What's up, son? All right, Saturday. Hey, 20, let's go. 20, oh, you got that. Come on, 22. 23, set him up. 25. Oh. This ain't for a normal person. You gotta be a real man to do this. For a long time. Training is crucial. So don't get too down on us when we lose. All right, Packers fans? We working hard for you guys. We are trying to win every game. Uh, so right now, you know, we're going to the little off-season spot. Uh, you know, just got a uh, little condo until, uh, you know, the other place gets fixed up. So right now, it might be a little messy. The fiance's in here trying to clean up. But this is the little, just a little studio that we're staying in right now. She's in the shower, clean clothes and stuff. The bed's right here. This just comes out. You fold this table up, comes out to a bed. All my shoes is a mess and stuff right there, so don't pay no mind. She takes up all the closet space with all her clothes, so I gotta put my stuff right there. 
we try to eat pretty healthy, you know. You know, we got a lot of chicken and stuff like that. We try to bake the chicken, corn dogs, and vegetables, pizza if we, you know, trying to, you know, just get something on the go. This is all her stuff. She's preparing for a wedding and all that stuff right now, so she has all her little wedding stuff and stuff right there. But yeah, you know, it's just a nice little place to relax and, you know, just come, you know, until the other place gets fixed up and just come and hang out and, you know, be here until we go back in March. This is Tamika Greer. This is my fiance. Hello. She just did herself, <laughs> got dressed and stuff, but yeah, this is my fiance, Tamika Greer. We just got engaged on February 4th. Her birthday is today. <laughs> oh, she is 24 baby. years old today, so yeah, she's a big girl. <laughs> but you guess she's yours now. Very, very big surprise. I had no clue. James, he's very well at keeping secrets. So. But um, he took me to dinner, and I love Red Lobster. So um, he took me there, and then they brought out some bread. That whenever we come, they usually bring the bread out early for us. And when they brought it out, of course, I want to dig in first. <laughs> so I opened the basket, and I just saw diamonds shining, and I just started crying. And by the time I looked up, he was on one knee asking me to marry him. I don't remember what he said because I was crying so hard, but I know one thing I said yes, and everyone gave us a standing ovation. It was a really good experience. Well, we're at uh, Gunnison High School right now. This is uh, where it's all started. I played Pop Warner here. I played, I played high school football here, high school basketball track, and this is where it's all started, man. And you know, I'd have to say my coach from high school, uh, Coach Jody Carrasco. He he helped me through everything, man. And he helped me stay out of trouble. He helped me, you know, do a lot of things on and off the field, and you know, that's why till this day, you know, I he's the first person I called to invite to my wedding. So I actually grew up in this locker room, you know, like I said, I played Pop Warner football here, high school football here, so, you know, Pop Warner football here, you know, you had to meet the other team in the locker room and everybody had to weigh in right here. My mother didn't have money to pay for me to play Pop Warner or pay for me to do any of that, so my coach had paid for me. And once he had paid for me, I knew he had seen something in me. His name is uh, Marion Larea. And once, you know, he had paid for me to play, I knew he had seen something in me, so I'm like, you know, this is my ticket, you know, if I work hard and I, I've heard all the people that made it, some of the guys that's been around me that have made it, I'm like, you know, this can be my ticket. And as, you know, my career had just kept on going, you know, from Pop Warner to high school, you know, I kept hearing the same things. And, you know, me and my mom are still struggling, still in shelter. So I'm like, you know, mom, when I make it to the NFL, you don't have to worry about nothing. And that was just my determination. You know, every day I would go home to the shelter and, you know, didn't have no food and, you know, my mom would go out and, you know, bring me back a burrito or something from, you know, asking people for a quarter on the, on the, on the side of the corner, you know, just, you know, to get a burrito. Um, James, he had a pretty rough uh, growing up. Um, he grew up in homeless shelters, but I really believe that it made him the man he is today. And I think God, you know, put that on him and God never puts more on you than you can bear. And I really think that he put James in that position so James could be who he is now and share his story with other people to show them that they can overcome what he went through. You know, like I said, my mother's just my motivation, man. She's her and just me building a family with my fiance and, you know, not wanting my kids to struggle how I had to struggle, you know, is a big part of my life. All right, this is it. This is the place. You've seen Gunnerson High School. James Jones has presented Gunnerson High School to you guys, and you know, funnest place in the world. I want to thank you guys for joining in on a day in the life of James Jones. Uh, I got to go now, take my fiance out to dinner. It's her birthday, and uh, take her out. I got another surprise for her she don't know about, so I'll catch you guys later.